Hello guys, this is Yvon Dongo, uh, Senior Consultant at CRM Asset Consulting. We are specialized in Microsoft Technologies, Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, Dynamics 365, and so on. So this is uh, video number 13 on a series of almost 20 I will post on uh, Power Automate. Okay. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create a custom connector for MailChimp from scratch. And in this video, we will use some action of uh, this custom connector to create a MailChimp audience directly from Dynamics 365. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, I can click on new to create my marketing list so my marketing list should be synchronized with merging if i create a marketing list within dynamics 365 that marketing list should be created in merging as an audience okay so this is the purpose our scenario so let me give the marketing list a name uh, auto, uh, automated MK list uh, 12 for instance okay my list is dynamic okay dynamic because I want contacts to be populated into it depending on a criteria so that you don't do it uh, manually so this is a powerful feature of uh, Dynamics 365 marketing list. Okay, the kind of uh, items to be included is contact. Uh, I'm not obliged to specify the other details. I can create on <coughs> save. Okay, when I click on save, okay, this list should be created in MailChimp as an audience. Let us go and see if it has been created. Name is Automated MK List 12. Refresh to see. It is loading. Let us be patient. It will not take time. Okay. Automated MK list 12 created today, okay, at uh, 26 of March. Okay, it works well and <clears throat> the flow is simple. Let us see the flow. <clears throat> okay, so the trigger is when a row is added. Okay, I can rename it because I've changed the type to added. And the table name is marketing list this marketing list and I have selected organization as scope <coughs> I just declare some variables string object and array and an array also now I need to get all audiences because of what because I don't want to create I want to avoid duplicate audiences Okay, that is why I need to recover okay, the audiences and in my custom connector, I have specified a count query in order to be able to tell MailChimp the number of records I want. Okay, so I <coughs> just get the audiences. I initialize this variable with the body of the previous operation <coughs> now I, I need to retrieve the list which is uh, a key inside this body retrieve okay so all this I select the list key to retrieve the data that array and I store it in my li all list array I pass it okay I pass previous uh, output okay I just pass it like this and I can make my select from the body key values 
key values okay now i filter okay <clears throat> this is the body of the previous operation and i just want to test if the item item is the current item from from this array item list name is it equal to the name of the list so this is coming from the trigger okay from the trigger i just test test if it is if empty body okay is equal to true empty body of the filter okay is equal to true i will say that that list name doesn't exist yet i can create it now i come on the yes bracket new audience i pass the name all these required fields and <coughs> I store the ID of the MailChimp list here because I want to update my marketing list record in order so to be able to update you pass the, 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 the row ID. Okay, this is useless eh, because I have, I have passed the row ID coming from uh, <coughs> the trigger directly from here and this is the MailChimp list ID. Oh, this was the mention list ID. Sorry, this is the raw ID of the record from uh, Dynamics. Okay, and this is the ID, the mention list ID. I put it back on my packaging list. So if I come here and I, okay, you see, this mention ID is coming from the mention. Okay, side. so from here I just update the record putting this uh, melting list ID here. So this is simply how the flow has been done. It's quite simple. And uh, in the next video, <coughs> we use some other actions of this custom melting custom collector. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another video on Power Automation.